Good evening and welcome to WK11 News. This is Pam Sinclair coming at you live with a high-speed pursuit of armed and dangerous renegades. Dark Future is a Games Workshop game that originally came out probably about 20 years ago. It's a car battling game where there are vehicles smashing into each other, unloading machine guns to each other, firing missiles at each other, and yet it's all happening simultaneously but turn-based. Science fiction is based on the extrapolation of scientific principles, whether that might be you know, physics, whether that might be how a warp drive engine works. Though of course we do let our imaginations go a bit wild with this, we want to make sure there is sound science behind the ideas that develop in the game. So when they originally created Dark Future back in the late 80s, Climate change was a relatively new, almost science fiction-y idea. And then in the discussions with one of the scientists today, we talked about, hey, what could the effects of climate change maybe be? And she actually made the really good point, well, they already are. I think climate change might have a big impact, I think, sort of some of the genetic manipulation, but I think the real potential threat is through new infectious diseases arising. We are using viruses at the moment as delivery mechanisms for gene therapies which is really exciting for dealing with some really debilitating conditions. Yet that same technology can be used in laboratories to manufacture terrible bioweapons that could destroy entire races. One of the areas that I'm interested in is synthetic biology. Until now, we have not been able to control the DNA that's passed on from one person to another, but we are now developing methods that would be able to change the DNA that's present. As something that stems from a, a newspaper article or something in a scientific magazine, all of these things are a fodder for, for storytelling. There's a nihilistic element in all of us, I think, and kind of, you know, that idea about some people are liking to watch the world burn and I think in science fiction that gives us the opportunity to to play with ideals of a negative future and, and to examine those without actually having to live through it. We can't regulate or, or control everybody so is there a fear that there is a rogue scientist out there somewhere that's taking it down the more dark routes? We could end up in some kind of crazy post-apocalyptic world which would be a lot of fun for a week or so and then it would be kind of horrible. <laughs> What I liked about Dark Future is we all have this sense that the future could be much bleaker than it, than it is now, that things maybe are falling apart, and Dark Future really capitalises on that and grabs it and, and runs with it, well, drives with it. The Dark Future IP has a lot of really interesting themes in it. There's um, cool kind of 80s cyberpunk stuff in there, there's some interesting weird ideas about parallel universes, some um, almost supernatural elements as well. And I think all of that combines to make it uh, a very unique, very interesting arena in which to tell stories. That tension of what could be and what we hope will never be is where the dark future lives. No!